Tang gang, what's poppin', man? This is your boy Tay, back at y'all again. And I'm getting a lot of questions about y'all, how to handle your emotions. Because some of y'all fellas and some of y'all ladies too, y'all been highly emotional during this time. Um, and y'all haven't been able to handle your emotions very well. So for this video, man, we're going to get into it. You have to realize that your emotions... It's energy, it's energy and motion. So whenever you feel an emotion, just know that it's an aspect of you that is in motion, right? One of your, one of your strings are being pulled. And then we have to understand that emotions are like waves, they're like ocean waves. Because this space right here is like water. It's a less dense version of water. So you have all types of waves floating around here, just like in the ocean. These are what we call emotion or energy in motion. Your laptop, your phone, people, everybody's emitting emotions, energy in motion throughout these airwaves. So you have to gain emotional intelligence, right? What is emotional intelligence? That's being able to perceive and understand what energy is in motion. What you're feeling. See, a lot of us, we feel something and we just ride that wave. You just let that take you on a ride. You know what I'm saying? We all been there. Somebody say something to you that make you mad. And all of a sudden, you, you flipping over couches. You know, you causing all type of chaos. But you don't understand that. That's energy in motion. Somebody pulled your strings. They tapped into that that vibration inside of you and was able to make you respond, right? She just like the strings on a guitar. You have different wavelengths of energy. You understand what I'm saying? Depending on which frequency it is, you're gonna have a different emotion for the different levels of frequency or different levels of wavelengths, okay? So what you have to understand is, is that you can be controlled through your emotions. That's how this whole world is ran through energy, through emotions. When you watch TV, you watch a commercial and it plucks at your emotions. That's why they have the music behind it. And what it does is it taps into that frequency inside of you. And it's going to drag you down to that frequency and it's going to control, you know, whatever that commercial is trying to push or whatever you're, you're whatever else you're doing in life. Your emotions are how people can control you. This is what narcissists do. They know how to tap into your emotions and make you react and respond the way they want you to. So this is why we have to gain emotional intelligence because emotional intelligence was gonna allow you to be able to feel that emotion. And before you let that energy set off in motion, you press the pause button for a second. Right, let's press pause for a second. Let's, let's feel this out. What am I feeling right now? How was I triggered? Where is this going to take me? Let's not just react to our feelings, but let's understand it, perceive it, observe it, and then make the logical decision, the best logical decision. You got to be like a sailor. You know, if you sail in the seas, you got to know how to navigate your way through those waters, through those currents. If you don't have a compass, a map, or if you don't know how to navigate the stars, you're going to be lost. And your, your ship is going to sail wherever those waves take you, wherever that current takes you. And you don't want to move like that. But that's how some of us move when we can't control our energy and motion. You feel what I'm saying? So just like at sea, where you have to navigate those waters, you got to navigate these waters. You got to take control of your ship. This is your ship. And you have all type of currents out here that can pull you any way they want to if you allow it. Not only do you have people that give off energy that can set off your energy in motion, but you have all these air, everything is so much stuff in these airways, man. We got phones, we got, and the, all this technology is so much stuff that can affect your energy. And this is why you have to have to take control of yourself. 
Learn who you are, right? Study this and study what triggers you. Don't just respond to people because they said something you don't like or something happens to you. So you just respond and you just, whatever you feel, you just, you know, that's, that's your energy for the day. Nah. You know, and for women, it's a little bit harder for y'all because y'all are ran off your emotions, y'all feelings and emotions. Women are highly intuitive. They have more intuition than men. Right, men, we're physically strong. So that gives women, they're more tapped into the spiritual. So they're going to be more um, in their feelings. So it's going to be harder for women. But just like with men and women, you it's the same concept. You have to take control of your emotions. You have to stop yourself, pause the game, take a break, take a time out, and feel, get to know what you're feeling. Learn what you're feeling. Learn it, study it. So that way, when it comes at you, you're not thrown off guard. You're like, wait a minute, such and such did this, or I know where this came from. You know what I'm saying? Let me dispense this. Let me not act off this because this ain't my feeling. This is something else that's trying to trigger me. We gotta be very careful in today's time not to be emotionally reckless. Because one false move right now, you got to be on, you know, you got to be 10 toes right now. You got to be in tip top shape. You got to be on top of your stuff. One false move, man, can cost you. Okay? It can really cost you. So for all my men and my ladies, especially my men, because, you know, you guys, we, we are logical thinkers. Right? We all have, we have emotions, but as men, we don't move off our emotions. We feel it. But at the same time, we analyze it and we do what we need to do regardless. We make the right decision. So for the men, you can't be out here acting like a female. No disrespect to the ladies. But the, the women will agree too, man. They don't like an emotional dude. No woman likes an emotional man. It goes against your laws of nature. It goes against who you are in your essence. You're supposed to be that solid rock. And see, you got to be very careful because that energy is being attacked, that masculine energy. You know what I'm saying? It's everywhere in the food, what you watch, social programming, everything. So as a man, you have to be on point. You can't be out here being reckless. So whenever you feel like that energy is in motion and it's going somewhere you don't want it to go, take the time to pause Feel what you feel, study it, and make the best choice. All right? Retain game, man. It's your boy Tay. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know in the comment section what y'all thought about this video or what y'all would like me to talk about next. Y'all have a beautiful day, man. And I'm out. Peace.